My name is Cathy Hanley and I'm the Music Service Manager for Hillingdon Music Hub. Make Music Day is an international festival held in 125 countries on the 21st of June every year. The Music Hub is working in partnership with the libraries to celebrate Make Music Day, putting together this video to promote music and literacy and the benefits it has on the children. When I sing with my friends, with everyone, it makes me feel like super like, good. But yeah, powerful. I'm Dara Butler, I'm the principal at John Locke Academy and the owner of Timmy the Dog. I think singing is a vital part of primary school education because it gets children together doing something that they can work collaboratively on, um, something they can feel proud about, they may struggle in other academic areas of the curriculum but they can sing their hearts out. I like to learn music because sometimes in the lyrics of the songs it helps me relate to what I'm actually going through. Singing just makes me feel really happy inside. I like singing in the shower, in the toilet, everything. It really makes me feel happy and I just really enjoy it. Singing helps me calm down and it helps me express my emotions. It makes me feel really happy. So singing is really good for your well-being and it's also good for your immune system because you oxygenate your blood by breathing in more deeply which makes you feel happier and healthier. It helps me express how I feel and it makes me feel good inside. I like singing because I can express myself um, in a way that I can't do when I'm talking. Singing helps me like, believe in myself more and ever since I started singing I feel a lot more confident. I like singing and music because it helps me chill out and get in the zone. When I put a song on my tablet, I just really love singing along to it. It makes me feel like I'm part of something, part of something big, and I really enjoy it. But I've got all my friends around me, and it's really supportive. For me, I really like to sing with other people because it's a social activity, um, and I love the sound when you're singing in harmony and the feeling it gives you. My name is Liz Swain and I am the Singing and Popular Music Coordinator at Hillingdon Music Hub. Singing can have a really profound impact on the development of children and their experience with music generally. It's a really great way for them to develop their language skills. It allows them to express themselves, it allows them to explore uh, emotions generally, um, it allows them to develop empathy because they can talk about emotions that other people might experience. Um, it also gives them really great um, experience of team working and the idea of having a shared goal that you work towards with a group of other people. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? My name's Helen Brown and I'm the Deputy Head and the Music Coordinator here at Warrender Primary School. Singing is so vitally important with children. It lifts their spirit, it's great for their mental well-being. It's great to help children learn. It's great for learning times tables. It's great for learning new vocabulary. So we often use it to teach in geography and history, knowing the kings and the queens of, the, of England, so they learn in the rap. I like singing because when I'm sad, I sing it and I feel much better. Come up the shore when you hear an awful ball. I like singing because it makes me happy and it really cheers you up. Please hang low, do they wobble to and fro? I like singing because it makes me happy, it makes my voice nicer and my heart warm and it also makes me feel comfortable. We shouldn't underestimate the power of singing and everybody should give it a go. Parents, 
teachers, everybody should just try, everybody has a voice and it doesn't matter if you don't think you're a good singer, you can still enjoy it. My name is Tiffany Bolton and I'm the music coordinator at St Swithin Wells School. I think it's really important that we sing as a class for the children's mental health. A lot of children learn singing through the times tables, so they'll learn times table songs and sing those together. And you don't need to be a trained music teacher, it's about having a go with your children. And if you're passionate about it, doesn't matter if you're slightly off key, because I am sometimes, but it's about doing it together and sharing that together. I love singing because, it, well, it just makes me happy. I like singing because it makes me calm, joyful and really happy. When I'm sad, I always I sing a song and, I, and it makes me calm. Singing is basically about going with the flow. Like, you, you go with the beat. You don't always have to use your voice. You can also use your hands. It really is beautiful. The idea of teamwork and actually doing something together is the thing that gets me really excited and being able to help other people share that sense of excitement and the idea that you can achieve this big thing together over a period of time is huge. I'm Mrs G and I teach music at Sacred Heart. Singing and signing really helps with their coordination, their language skills, um, their rhythm, their rhyme, you know, it's, and it makes them feel great as well. And getting them to move rather than standing still, just concentrating on the voice. I like singing because it's not just a hobby, it's a way to express how you feel. I like singing because it gives you more confidence and you can do whatever you want in singing. Like it doesn't have to be good, you just have to know that you can sing, um, which everyone can because it's it's like so magical singing is. It's quite difficult to imagine Sacred Heart without singing. It's so easy to sing, you don't need any equipment, you've just got your voice. Um, so it's not a difficult thing to do. easily accessible. It can really support other learning skills, behaviour, psychosocial development and, and it's fun. Like why would you why wouldn't you do it? Six, two, three, four.